74-year-old George Steele always locks his windows and doors before going to sleep at night. He's still surprised an intruder was able to get inside. He is shaken up by this incident and says he was not sure if he was going to make it out alive. George Steele was asleep inside his home when he was suddenly woken up by some noises coming from his back door. By the time I raised myself off of the bed, he had come through my uh, my back bedroom door. Steele keeps a loaded pistol under his pillow. He says this man, Baron Anderson, reached under and grabbed the pistol, threatening to use it if he did not give him his wallet. Steele was scared, but his instinct kicked in and he started fighting back. Well, I was trying to wrestle with him and get the damn gun out of his hand, but I just wasn't, I wasn't, I would, I, I wasn't strong enough. <laughs> When Steele would not give him his wallet, Anderson hit Steele in the face with the gun. You can still see the bruises on him from the struggle. Anderson eventually took off. I wasn't strong enough to, to overpower him. Steele suspects this is not the first time Anderson has broken in. About three years ago, Anderson did yard work for him. As Steele was getting ready to pay him, he realized his wallet was gone. He says someone has stolen his wallet at least five other times taking about $1,600 total. Every time I had to go down and renew my, my driver's license, my Social Security card, my Medicare card, uh, my, yeah, all of it. When Anderson left, Steele called deputies and was able to give them a description. That description matched someone at the Beacon gas station, only a few blocks from Steele's home. Deputies took Steele to the gas station where he was able to identify him. Steele says he's disappointed with the recent crime going on around the county. These young kids think they got the world owes, owes them a living and, you know, they screw up their personal lives. They, they can't get recommendations for jobs. Anderson remains behind bars at the Escambia County Jail. His bond is set at $85,000. Reporting in Escambia County, Janice Fernandez, Channel 3 News.